but he will. Oh. You can tell by that first clip, we got something special coming up today. It's going to be a whole lot of information about exit 37, but you're going to have to stay all the way through the video to make sure you catch all that. First off, we're going to head out to Black Hills Harley Davidson because they got something going on special this weekend. We want to make sure that you don't miss it. It's as long as you're here, so stay tuned and find out what's going on on exit 37 and at Black Hills Harley Davidson. Hey guys, Mike Maloney, Black Hills Harley Davidson. Uh, thanks for tuning into the channel. I'm happy to be back. I've been on a few times. Hope you've seen those. Uh, coming up to the 2023 Sturgis Rally here at Black Hills Harley Davidson. Uh, we always do our pre rally rollout the weekend before. So this year it is July 29th and 30th. That's Saturday, Sunday. We're going to be open 8 to 6. We've got about 60% of our, our vendors are going to be here open and full rally mode. So we kind of throw it for if you're, you're in town early or the locals want to come out and get a little rally experience. We open up and open the doors and, and we're in full rally mode. So invite you to come up. We're going to have big names like Vance and Hines, Rockford, Fosgate, Harley Davidson P&A trailer is going to be open. We got Rick Rack out there setting up. Uh, a whole laundry list of, of the best vendors are going to be open this weekend for the pre-rally rollout. So come see us. As always, we got the big white tent up. Uh, it's full to the brim with new and used Harley Davidsons. I know the, with the manufacturing slowdown, some news are a little bit harder to get, but we've worked really close with Harley Davidson Motor Company uh, to make sure the tent's full. Uh, we're going to have the new Freewheeler 3s. We'll have the new CVOs. We've got Road Glide STs, Street Glide STs, Low Rider STs, all the hottest models uh, we're going to have under the tent. We make it easy. If you're interested in a bike, we uh, take your trade in make it flip on a new one or a new to you bike with a pre-owned or if you're in town and you're looking to sell your Harley of course we always buy Harley so uh, come up see the big tent full of I think there's about four 450 motorcycles under that tent right now uh, with with more on their way and of course come see us pre-rally rollout this weekend. The service department here at Black Hills Harley-Davidson is, is set up and in rally mode. Uh, we bring in a lot of extra technicians from, from across the country, sometimes across the world, and, and we make it easy. We have our green lane, so if you just need a tire and oil change, no appointment necessary for any service appointments. Just get the bike here. Uh, we get it in. We get it in quick. Again, the green lane, just here to turn it really fast. If you have, happen to have a major mechanical issue, uh, you need a tow truck, just get the tow truck to bring it here. Uh, we got the team here to unload it, get you in, get you diagnosed. We've got plenty of of parts on hand so um, most of the common things that will go wrong on your Harley Davidson we should be able to fix it we try and turn everybody the same day if there has to be a special order part we overnight the parts if needed get everybody uh, going back on the road as quick as possible so of course while you're in town for the the rally coming up you got to visit all the Harley stores we've got Badlands Harley-Davidson out in Wall. So if you're coming from the east, stop and, and see us on that way. Or if you're doing the Badlands Loop, the right kitty corner from Wall Drug, go see Hill City Harley-Davidson right on Main Street. Of course, Deadwood Harley-Davidson on Main Street. And then, then Sturgis Harley-Davidson. We're really proud of that one. Uh, the parking lot is completely empty this year. Sometimes we filled it with vendors. This year, there's, there's only going to be one. So plenty of free parking for your Harley-Davidson. Motorcycles only in that parking lot. So when you're coming to Main Street, if you need somewhere to park, park at Sturgis Harley-Davidson. Go in. Of course, there's extended hours for the rally. They've got all your Sturgis Rally merchandise. The official Harley Davidson shirt can be found there, uh, full of collectibles, your poker chips, uh, everything that you need. Sturgis Harley's open. Then we have our discount tent that sits up on Lazelle Street. That's going to be full of discontinued merchandise. Uh, and, and all that stuff is marked way down 50 to 80%. So if you're looking for a deal, go see the Harley tent on Lazelle Street. Pretty windy today, but I wanted to give you an update on exit 37. It's a mess. Actually, a young gentleman, a young high school boy, uh, got killed here two weeks ago. A semi pulled off the side of the road, pulled back out, and he slammed into the side of the car and killed that poor innocent boy. Condolences to his family if he sees the video, if they see the video. Uh, the deal's supposed to be, they're supposed to have all this done before the rally. Both lanes are supposed to be open. They have, watching this, we, yesterday, we, we filmed this yesterday, so the, right about 10 days left of what the video you're looking at now that they have to get done. Now, the bridge that's right here, it's not gonna get done. They're not gonna asphalt it. They're not gonna concrete any of that. The bridge itself is concreted. This bridge is halfway across the road. It's not gonna get knocked down. 
but they're supposed to try to get all the lanes open. You can see way over there, they're trying to pour some more concrete. But what they still have to do is here, yesterday there was a couple spots here that were still open. They've got those patched up now. Uh, it was kind of weird, they laid the concrete and every now and then there was like 50 yards that they didn't have any concrete. So that's what they're going back now, patching that up. Then they've got to put the asphalt on the sides of the road. So if you drive off, you're not going to kill yourself. So they also said, from what I'm hearing from the city, from the county, this heading west, going east, that when you come off the ramp, and you're going to see that in a minute, I'm going to show you that video, you're, they're not going to end up, I thought maybe they would asphalt that, but we're hearing they're not. It's going to be some rocks there where they say, people that are coming down this road going to kickstands already drives on a little bit of rocks anyway. I don't know. I'm not going with that. So here's the update of what's going on. So right now, if you're coming from the east, coming west, the ramps are done. So this ramp is easy to get off of. This ramp is easy to get back onto the 90. So that's good. Other than we're sharing the lanes here. But that's the side that's kind of screwed up that when you go back down to this far side, you can see way over there, it's all gravel all the way down. That would be like if you were going to Rapid City.
Now, if you're coming from the east, heading west, over at Sioux Falls, that's not gonna get done. There's no way that's gonna get done because we drove by there last week, there was no concrete at all for 20 miles. So I can't, not saying it couldn't be done, but I'm thinking there's no way they're gonna get that done. If they can get this done, I think that would be a miracle. They are working late. They're working until about seven o'clock at night. They didn't work on Sunday, but they did work all day Saturday. So they're doing their best to get it done. The deal is, even if it's not done, there'll be no construction workers out here. But the city told us today, it will be done. That's all I can tell you.